video explainer 4.1 number 7. In an electricity experiment, a 1 gram plastic ball is suspended on a 60 centimeter long string and given an electric charge. A charged rod brought near the ball exerts a horizontal electric force, F electric, on it, causing the ball to swing out at a 20 degree angle and remain there. What is the magnitude of F electric and what is the tension in the string? Concepts we're going over are forces, how forces relate to each other, motion diagram, how to draw out a diagram for the forces and use that to help us solve the problem. So we're going to start by just a simple visual explanation. We have our ball hanging here and then a charge rod pushes it out here where our string is 60 centimeters and our angle will be 20. So that's F electric, which is going to be in our X direction and our tension is going to be the string. So we can say our tangent of this triangle is T electric. Now to make it easier, we're going to put, we can put it on an X and Y axis to help us show where all our directions are of our forces are acting. So we'll center it and we'll know that first we know our weight it's, it's suspended. So it will be weight is equal to MG. There'll be no normal force because it's not acting, pushing against anything. But we'll say, I see I put F electric pointing away and tension pointing up. You can switch them around just because this is gonna be negative, but I wanna keep all my tension forces positive, but this will just end up being the tension, the X directs is positive and the F is negative. If I switch that around, it'd be the same thing where the Y stayed positive and it end up being the same answer. So I keep it, I put it this way where you see our tension is pointing away, with electric pointing away, which is pointing down, but all of these will cancel out to equal zero. So we can break up our forces into X and Y components, our net force equaling zero, and our tension in the X direction, which is gonna be sine theta, it's here, do, 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 right here. Our tension in the x direction, sine theta, t tension sine theta minus our f electric will equal zero. And we can do that also in our y direction where our tension y is the cosine is plus the weight mg will equal zero. So it's t tension cosine theta minus mg, which will equal zero. And we know our mass times g, g being gravity, is 1.0 times 9.8 meters per second. One 1.0 grams and we convert grams to kilograms and we know there's 1,000 grams in a kilogram So we'll say it's 1.001 kilograms and get Then we'll get T by itself adding mg to zero and then dividing by cosine theta So tension is equal to 0 0.001 times 9.8 over cosine 20 which equals 0 0.01 newtons. So that is our ten, That is B. What is the tension in the string? and then Using that, we can just plug the, the force of the tension back into our X. So it would be T tension times sine theta will be equal to our F electric. So if our tension is 0 0.01 Newtons, we can plug that in. So it's 0 0.01 sine theta, sine 20. And we will just add Fe to the zero to make it equal to our electric force. So to find the magnitude, 0 0.01 Newtons times sine 20 equals our electric force of our electric, the magnitude of the electric A, which is 0 0.003 newtons. So our tension is 0 0.01 newtons and the magnitude of our electric force is 0 0.003 newtons. I think some common mistakes is one, not converting our SI units for our grams, kilograms. And then I think a big one is plugging in with the 60 centimeters into sine 20 or cosine 20 to find the forces. But this would in reality just give you the lengths of the string in the X and Y directions and not the forces. So the 60 centimeters there is kind of to distract you. We're not trying to find the distance or the length. We're trying to find forces. And that is not how we don't use the length of something to find our forces, not in this equation.